Ah, welcome back, guys. Hey, look here. I saved all spring and summer to get some new gear for winter this year, and uh, I think you'll like it. We're gonna do no unboxing. We're gonna take it out of the box. I'm sure you've seen plenty of people unbox stuff. Oh, there's old glory. <laughs> What's that over there? Oh, there it is again, flapping in the breeze. We love that, don't we? All right. What I did is I saved all, all spring and summer to buy some new stuff. What I did was I got this here, right here. I'm gonna use this thing for uh, ice fishing, fall camping, stuff like that. It's perfect. I even got a wood stove for it. So I need to put it all together and see what else I need for this unit. <laughs> this thing's gonna change everything for me. All right, let me flip this thing around and give you a better look at this thing, right? Like I said, this here is the Otter Monster Lodge. This thing is not cheap. We are going to pull it out and we're going to set it up. And we'll see how long it takes. Hopefully it won't take too long. But uh, I'll get back with you once we get this thing out of the box. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. Saved like five minutes not playing with the box. Anyways, here is a nice bag. I mean, this is a really nice. Oh, it's heavy duty. I like that. Nice little gold, gold, gold straps. Check this out. You'll love this. Look at it. Got a little light. All right. Put that on your shack and I'll be damned. Check this out. Batteries are included. Nice. Let's get this thing out of the bag and let's get it up. It's a thermal hub. It's got all the pop outs. We'll talk about that when we get it up there. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. And I can't wait to show you my stove. All right, guys. Let's get this thing out of the bag. We just set up. Swept area. I'm sure you didn't want to see that. So, we're going to take this thing out of the bag. In here, sir. Uh, like I said, never opened it before, so found out what happens. Pick it up. No, oh, that's purdy. P U R D Y. Purdy. Love it. Oh, thick. Heavy duty material. I said this thing is really. Every review I've read I said they're. Uh, These thermal hubs. They're amazing. And I'm telling you. Just by looking at the quality right now, they, <laughs> especially with this stove in there. Let's get this thing off here. Got a nice clamp on it. You're seeing me do this for the first time, too, so. Got a piece of it. It's just back there. I love it. You need to get a crack. You know it has to be bad. Heavy duty too. Let's put that on the truck. Old blue light. Alright. Man, that is heavy. Awesome. And truck. Man, Yep. 
First time, then open. Let's put that in. This thing is sturdy. This thing is sturdy. Okay. Let's move this down. Let's see if we fight the other side. One side, pop through. Points are just solid as a rock. Let's get down here in the end. Take a look inside. Beautiful. Heavy duty zippers. The material is just so thick. You said, I'm gonna take a look in here. I'm gonna put you back the door and let's have the peak. Paper, paper, all the way to the Velcro. Come right down, let's get all this cold paper out of here. Oh, I'll be damned. Look at this. Nice little vents. Nice. Heavy duty Velcro. Got several vents. And this thing is absolutely fabulous. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think there's enough room in here to, uh, make my day. Look at this. It's rough. I mean, you could be well over six foot and fit in here just fine. That's, wow. 
I am impressed worth every penny. All right, now that we got the inside pretty well squared away, let's take a look and see what they got here. What this thing came with, got the little light, of course. I want to see what's in the bag. Let's look at this up. Instructions, which we didn't really need. Uh, oh yeah, that's the time you put your license so DNR don't give you a spanking. And look at that. Look at that. Ice anchors. Heavy duty. You can got little protectors on here. Nice. Nice I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Took me a little while to set it up because I ain't never done it before. But guess what? Man, that is not bad. The interior, tons of room. Little extras everywhere. Now we're gonna go break out a tape measure because every time you see these things, nobody actually breaks out of tape. So you're kind of wondering how big is that thing actually? You know what I mean? So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a tape to find out. We'll do a quick inside and outside measurement. Got some tape. Let's do it. And let me flip this thing around. It'll help a lot. about seven, seven and a half foot, almost eight feet, almost. Let's take a look down there, yeah, a little bit there, but still, you're looking at seven, almost eight feet. All right, now, let's go the other way. Now remember, there are the hubs, so you do get a few inches, so we're gonna call it eight. But as far as floor space goes, you can't really count the hubs, now can you? Mm -hmm. And it's 14, so yeah, you got like about an 8, 8 by 14. That's a big boy. So now you know, you've seen it. Now we have a good clue. So it's about 8 by 14. This thing is huge. And uh, yeah, I can do a couple overnighters in this thing on the ice easy, and that's exactly what I intend to do. I hate going ice fishing and you got there in a the bucket. Wind's blowing, nasty, cold. <laughs> this bad boy's gonna change all that. Now let me go get the stove, show you what else I got. Uh, here's another thing I wanna show you guys, check this out, the apron. Look at that, it's a full foot. I pulled it, look at that, full foot. It is one full foot. Plenty of apron for snow packing. Showed you all the heavy duty anchors, you know, to anchor it down. And look at this thing, wow. Let's go on that side here. Heavy duty, heavy duty grommets, all heavy duty. Look at this here, in here, tie downs. Tie down here, you got them. look at that, every one. Every single one has a pocket. Tie down stuff is already in it. Look at that, what a beauty. Huh, look at that thing. Ha <laughs> ha, the Otter Monster Lodge. Man, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. We get inside here. I'm gonna show you all the stuff here. All right, all these windows. There are several. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's tons of windows in this thing, and they all come off. Velcro. All of them. So what I'm gonna do is put my stove jack in here somewhere. I don't want it on this side because this will be the side to sleep on. I can, you know, throw a cot in here. Put a cot in here, maybe a table over there. I already got some rubber matting I'm going to put on the floor here. And I've already got my lighting system stuff in here. But now, let me show you what else I got. Oh, look at that beauty right there. A winter well. It took me a long time to save for this thing. It took me a long time. These things are not easy to get. Last year, I was going to think about picking one up. Sold out. Sold out. Every time I got them, sold out. Sold out. I got the big window view that we can sit and watch the fire burning. Got the water tank, goes right around the stove pipe on there. And then I got the stove pipe oven. I'm gonna put all this together real quick and see if I need what angles I need or how I'm going to do it. So just hold on, let me set this bad boy up and I'll show you. Again with this thing, ain't no box. I ain't gonna pull it out in a box, it takes too long. There was three boxes, we got a pain in the butt. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and show you everything that comes with one of these beautiful stoves. 
I'm excited for this year. It's big time. All right, so these fold out here, as you can see, give you plenty of table space there. All the piping for these is on the inside. All stainless steel pipe. Anytime you get a new stove, something like this, you need to burn it. If you still got the oil, the industrial oil is going to still be on. But what we're going to do, oh, it's a simple, it's beautiful damper, three position damper on it. We're going to set this thing up and I'm going to see what angles I need and how roughly where I want to stick it. I do want to have a fish and blue area. Caught there, table blur, rubber matting to this. Got that coming, like I said. I got the lighting system sitting in the garage. I gotta pull that out, get that all put in. It's all gonna connect up here. It's all LEDs. They're gonna be truck bed lights. I watched a video earlier where a guy did that. He used the truck bed lights, and uh, I watched it. I absolutely agree with him. That was the way to go. So I went and got four sets of them. Dirt cheap, too. Got them again on uh, eBay. Or uh, cheap. And they work great. I mean, one got me a little battery from over at Walmart, 12 volt, more than enough just for the lights, maybe running some power equipment for the cameras I got. Whew. I, I love this guys. I'm absolutely stoked. Now to figure out where I'm gonna put it, I'll get back with you. Well I think I figured out how I'm gonna do it. This first section here, the pipe, may just slide right. I mean so easy piece. Boom in. And the stove slips right up. I don't want to stick too close to the door because what you don't want to do is come in, boop, trip over something, bam, you get your face into the thing or you knock it all over, right? So I'm going to put it over here and say, I haven't ordered the extra pipe here because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to need. I wanted to make sure I had everything I needed before I burn it up. So I'm going to stick it roughly in here somewhere. Figure right about here. Okay, now. I know I need a stove jack. The nice thing, like I said, these come right out. So, I take that out, make me a pattern, heavy dude Velcro over around it. There's a seamstress here in town because I can't sell worth a damn except maybe a t shirt. Anyway, buy the material, cut that out, have her whip a heavy duty line on there, Velcro. Take my 45. I'm going to come up with a 45 and shoot it right out and up. That saves me. So I thought maybe I'd have to buy some extra sections of pipe to get it up in the air. Nope, don't have to. Look at here. All here. Spark for us with pole works. It's all here. There's the oven. <laughs> Gotta see this thing. Okay. Uh, and now you'll find out why I'm fat, right? Because I like to eat and I cook. So this is gonna make a big difference on that as well. Check this oven out. Uh, plenty of cooking space in there. Beautiful, all stainless steel. Look at that. Nice little temp gauge. Everything else on there. Small course goes all around. <laughs> First thing, uh, somebody's gonna say, well, don't say it's smoky. No, uh -uh. goes all the way around the box. All stainless. Yeah, that's the deal. Look at that. Just, I'm stoked, guys. I really am. It's got two nice things. I even went and got some little bread trays I can stick inside there. Make them little casseroles, or whatever. You will find out because I love to cook and I'm good at it. <laughs> You don't get this big and not cook. And I'm gonna barbecue it, so I'm doing some of that too. And they can buy, you can get attachments to these things. Go to Winterwell, USA. You can get a sauna attachment for this, attaches to the pipe and drips down, and you get a little bin that you put rocks in. I mean, they have everything for these things. Everything you could possibly think of. I mean, this, this water tank here just goes boom, right on the back. Throw your snow down there in there, or lake water, or whatever you want to do. Bring your water right there. Boom. When you're done with it, hot. Pull it right off there. This up. 
And there you go, guys. Tank stays warm right there. Okay. It stays warm. Connects right there on the side. With two little tabs, you just bink on there, and there's your spigot. You can keep it warm right there. I mean, <laughs> wow. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do now that I know. I need a 45. I could probably go with a 90, but I'd rather go with a 45. I got the extra pipe here, so when I'm going to come up, that 45 is going to come up and I'm going to shoot right out the center. I mean, this, I couldn't have planned this better if I tried. Just couldn't do it. Couldn't plan it better if I tried. So, yeah, so yeah, like I said, I have a pop of 45 in here. I didn't, this was the main thing. I didn't know how much piping I need or with this on here, if it was going to be a problem. I was like, oh, I don't know if this going to work, you know, but bucks I love to bake fresh baked bread. When I'm cooking, I want fresh, fresh baked bread with my food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can tell. Anyway, so put that 45 on and shoot it out. I thought maybe I would need more extra sink. I got four extra pieces here. So I'm going to do the 45 out and I'm not going to shoot it straight out. So I'm going to probably get another 45 and shoot it up. I mean, that's all I need two 45s. So I have four total sections of extra pipe here plus the uh, spark arrestor which will put it way above this thing and then i uh, will get some uh, they make a you'll love this too they also make a ring goes over your stove pipe it's got metal things you can stake it all off so that stove pipe doesn't move either the way this thing is designed i'm gonna tell you right now i ain't worried about wind caving this thing in at all it ain't gonna happen as you've seen how much hell i had trying to pop her all out but uh guys this is a game changer for me it really is i Needed. I used to camp outside when I was a kid in the winter time, but uh, it was in Texas so many years, I didn't need it down there, right? At all. But now that I'm back and everything, and uh, took the only job in the area I could get, I'm not going to discuss that, uh, I can get back outside and do this and share my videos with the people I've worked with. And, uh, wow, I'm going to share all my videos with you all as well. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. The lighting system and everything, we'll do it again later when I get all that set up. I have so much wiring stuff to go through and get it all set. But this is why I did it, just to give you a rough idea of what you're looking at. The Otter Monster Lodge. Wow, I am extremely impressed. And winter, well, you can't go wrong with this. It's the best stove in the world as far as I'm concerned. And I've looked at many. Number one, all stainless steel. I don't have to worry about the burnout or anything else with all the extra attachments. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lifetime service out of this thing. It'll last me longer than my life. I'll pass it on. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, guys. Glad I got to share this with you. Got my parts list together. I think I'm pretty much done with this video, y'all. I will do another update when I get everything, lights, and everything else all set up, and then we'll go through that the flooring. I still have to get caught yet. There's a lot of stuff I have to get. And uh, like I said, I have to save forever to get all this stuff. I'm glad to have it, and I'm gonna share. It all my videos with y'all. All right. Love you. Y'all be good.